This is not gonna work. <sighs> this part took me forever. Test it out. And excuse you. <laughs> My God. If you are new here, my name is Linnea and I purchased this 2016 Ram Promaster about a month ago. So today my project will be putting in my new subfloor. It seems as though people choose to do this many, many different ways and it was a little overwhelming because I didn't know what was right. So that might be something that you're going through right now as well. And maybe the answer to that is that there is not a right way, but I wanted to make sure that I was utilizing my installation correctly and making sure that there was um, enough support for human, you know, traffic in and out of my van and dog traffic. I decided to go with foam board insulation. For the rest of it, I am going to be using 3M Insulate. Now, when I did some research on the half inch foam board, it has a really bad R value. It was under two, and I ended up picking up an inch foam board because it has an R value of five, and to me that felt worth it, losing a little bit of that floor space for a better insulation. Now I have to take all this stuff out. This was my original plan. These one by twos are not actually an inch where the foam board is indeed an inch. This is annoying. This is annoying as hell. Another option is to use two by twos. That actually might work perfect. This is not gonna work. I am going to use two by twos. I know I said this in a previous video, but everything takes longer than you think it will. We'll just say that one more time. So I'm really happy about my decision to go with the two by twos. If you haven't worked with wood very much, you'll learn really fast that the measurements that they're called, like two by twos or one by twos, they're not actually two inches by two inches. It's a little bit smaller than that. So it works wonderfully. Now I am going to figure out exactly why I want them in my van. So this is all just going to be trial and error, I guess. Oh, I don't know. That will not fit there. As I'm figuring out some of this layout, I'm actually going to start cutting and fitting them. For instance, where this fits, I'm going to want to cut that curve. I think I want one kind of right on the edge here just to strengthen that so I will need to cut right here this corner here coming across this edge and then I'll probably need to use my jigsaw to cut into this board a little bit here and then also to fit the curve of that wheel well so as I'm cutting I'm still gonna be figuring out the layout and we'll see kind of where we end up all right I wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far I have all of the lengthwise boards in. This is where they're going to live. I just need to cut some of some extra shorter ones here. I'm going to do one more across here and see where that puts us. Can we just take a moment and appreciate this fit right here? Look at that, beautiful. I think I am done with the framing of my floor. I wanna show you a few things that got in the way. So on the edges of the van, it curves up. So what I did, instead of having this one run all the way, I just cut out where this metal meets because that was the biggest issue for it laying flat. All of these across are pretty darn tight in there, which I'm excited about. I am going to liquid nail these down, but I'm also glad just that they're tight anyway. Another little thing that I ran into was this lip right here. So this lip gives just enough room for this two by two, but I might need to cut these a tad bit shorter so that this can sit a little bit farther this way because that lip gets in the way. One more thing that I might add are maybe just a few small ones over here. Other than that, I am done with the framing. So after I make those few adjustments, I'm actually going to label all of these so I know exactly where each one fits and remove all of them. Then I'm going to work on making a cardboard template of my floor. All right, the framing 
is done. I made all the little adjustments that I needed to and everything fits really, really well. I'm going to label it with this Sharpie. Little one. And we'll call this one little seven bottom. That's easy. Boom, labeled. Hopefully I know what this means in two days. I can imagine that this is going to be frustrating. Yep. Okay, I think I have an idea. This is probably exactly four feet. It's not. I just finished the first little part of my template, so I'm gonna take this out and then trace it onto a piece of my plywood. I guarantee you that there is a more efficient way of doing this. Okay, something already doesn't. Please fit. Please fit. Oh my gosh. Does that fit? No, it does not fit. Why doesn't it fit? That probably didn't do a damn thing. This might be one of the most tedious things I've done in a long time. Other than making these videos, that's pretty darn tedious. This is how close we are. Please fit. Okay, that side fits. Why doesn't this side fit? Oh, one more cut. All right, there's a pretty darn good fit here. I'm happy with that. So right now I'm actually going to take advantage of the time of day it is, and I'm going to head to the gym that I work at and lay down my two by twos because some of the boards are a little bit warped and the gym has a few more options for heavy objects to place on the boards. So I'm gonna go do that. First, a little cleanup. As you can see, I just laid out all of the boards and for the record, my labeling process worked wonderfully. I just got back from the gym. I actually let the weights sit on there overnight and then removed all the weights and it turned out really, really well. Today I'm going to work on insulating the floor with one inch rigid foam board. It's gonna be time consuming, I think. My supervisor is joining me today. This is gonna be difficult. Hello, this is a few days later. Well, two days later. After about two and a half solid hours, I'm this far with my insulation. See a damn thing. Here it is. All insulated. So what I'm gonna do now is finish the back end of the template for my plywood because I really only did the front part and then I got bored of doing that and moved on. This took a long time. They don't tell you that the subfloor is a tedious job. But first, a few adjustments. All right, well, it's almost done. I have one more piece of plywood, which will be easy, because I'm just going to take this one and make the exact same cuts to that one. Almost done. Are you ready to watch this fit? 
Watch this. Okay, check this shit out. Come on. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, wow. That is the best fit yet. Third time's a charm, I guess. So my floor is all fitted. The next step is for me to sand it all down and then I'm going to put like a water guard on it and then later tonight, I'll install it. Oh, this feels so good. <sighs> this part took me forever. Like probably three days worth, not three days worth, that's ridiculous. I spent three days, a few hours each day just trying to fit and adjust and measure and adjust and all that. So now that it's finally done, I feel super good about it. Oh, I see a spot I might want to adjust a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to just do one more cut. And then I'm going to start sanding and water guard it all. I just got done sanding everything, so I'm going to use some Olympic water guard on probably both sides because I have enough of my plywood and let that dry and then I can install it. Before I start drilling anything, I am going to mark where my framing is on my floor. So that I know I'm drilling into something, not insulation. Sweet. So I don't think I've said this before earlier in this video, but I did not want to put any holes in my floor. So some people will drill their plywood or their studs right into their metal floor. I did not want to do that. I don't want more holes in the floor than there need to be and i've also heard that that causes a lot more squeaking yeah my decision was just to go with the liquid nails and then drill my plywood floor into my framing hopefully this won't take long because i'm hot and i'm hungry and i just want this floor over with <laughs> all right i have my drill and i'm using one and a half inch screws so let's get to it it even comes with the bit so nice That sunset. How amazing. I'm putting the screws about a foot apart. I, I don't know if that's too many, but it it feels nice. And then on all the edges too to make sure it lays down nice. It's been about it's been about a week since the subfloor has been in and I actually drove across the country and have been able to really test it out and, excuse you oh my gosh we've really been able to test it out and I absolutely love it it's extremely sturdy and it feels as though it's insulated well. It is probably my favorite part of the van build so far because there was so much trial and error and figuring things out and troubleshooting and the, the actual putting it together was one of the most satisfying things that I've done so far. As you can see, our, our bed frame is up and I started the sound deadening, but those are videos for another day. I am waiting to put on my vinyl sheet flooring until I get a little bit farther into the build. Okay, no, we're not gonna get the ball. One of the things that I love most about my subfloor right now is that I feel like the insulation is very protected. So unlike a lot of subfloors that I've seen where it's just the rigid foam board with the plywood on top of it, I can imagine that it gets really compressed from the human traffic in your van. So I feel really, really good about my insulation being protected and working really well and using the liquid nails and not having those extra holes in my floor and everything has held in place beautifully through traveling and absolutely nothing moves or creaks when I walk on it. I love my floor. She got it. Success! <laughs>
All right, let's move on to how much my van build has cost me so far. So far, my van build has cost $1,505.99. It adds up quick. You're gonna get hair in my coffee and I don't like it when you get hair in my coffee. Thank you so much for watching another one of our videos and following along with the van build. It's been really fun answering questions on here and getting to know some of the newer subscribers. I've been doing a lot with a few other pieces of the van and there's gonna be a lot in the works this, these next two weeks. So make sure that you hit subscribe so you can follow along with all of the fun things that are happening because new videos are soon to come.